Hey guys, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. This week, I have some great time-saving tips if you're working in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to use an adjustment clip to store your color grades, then make them available in any project using power bins. Okay, we're gonna start with locating the adjustment clip. In DaVinci Resolve, you'll go to the effects library and in the toolbox, you'll see a section called effects. And in here are two effects. One says adjustment clip and the other fusion composition. We want to apply the adjustment clip above this interview clip in the timeline. So I'm just gonna park my playhead over the clip, press X to set an in and out point. Then I'm gonna drag this adjustment clip out of the effects area and choose place on top. So now I have an adjustment clip placed over my interview. I'm gonna clear the in and out points by pressing option X. And now I wanna jump into the color page. Now in the color page, you'll see your adjustment clip. It's actually on the V2 layer, which you can see here, but you can perform grades and corrections to adjustment clips. All I wanna do in this clip is add a power window and make this area around her face darker. So with the clip selected, I'm going to go down to the window section and choose a circular mask. And I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments so that it fits her face and uh, really bring out the feathering. I really want this feathered. Let me make this a little bit larger. Just this. And now what I want to do is darken this area. And to do that, I need to invert the mask. So I'm going to click this button here and using the gamma master control wheel, I'm just going to drag to the left. So you can see the background outside the mask is getting darker. I'm going to go ahead and turn this mask off so you can see what the clip looks like with the grade applied without the distraction of the overlays. I'm going to quickly toggle this on and off by clicking the number of the node at the bottom. So I did a quick grade by adding a power window. So now I'm gonna jump back into the edit page. You can see it's applied here. So what I wanna do is save this adjustment clip into my media pool so I can use it on other clips in the timeline. And now I have an adjustment clip with all of those settings I added in the color page. And of course I can even name this sky face window. So now with the adjustment clip saved in my media pool, I can drag and drop it on another interview clip. If I select the adjustment clip and press D for disable, you can see that that grade that we applied to the clip is now applied to this other interview. Now this technique is only gonna work if you've filmed a subject in the same location using the same lighting setup. So it's not gonna always work across every interview, but in this case it works. Now one more tip I wanna show you is that if you wanna make this adjustment clip available in other projects, you can save it to what's called a power bin. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one clip so you can see how that works. You're gonna take your mouse up to the view menu and you're gonna go down and choose show power bins. And you'll see power bins here. And you'll notice that the structure of a power bin looks similar to the standard media pool bins with a master bin. What's great about power bins is that they appear in every single project that you work on, where this particular master bin will only appear for this particular project. So I can save adjustment clips to be used in other projects. So I'm gonna take this same adjustment clip out, I'm gonna drag it into this master bin here of the power bin section, and you'll see here, adjustment clip. I'm gonna go ahead and name this, sky face window. Now it's there, and just so you can see how this works, I'm gonna jump out to the project manager and I'm gonna load up a completely different project. And this project happens to have an interview taken from that same camera. So notice in that power bin is my saved adjustment clip. So all I need to do to apply it is park the plate over a clip, press X to mark the clip. I'll just drag this in to the window and choose place on top. And there is my grade applied to this particular clip in a completely different project.
So that's a fast way to use adjustment clips and power bins together to save some time. So hopefully you found that tip useful. And if you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve, check out rippletraining.com where you can see our full complement of DaVinci Resolve tutorials. And if you like this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell. Thanks for watching.